this lesson, we are going to be generating a bunch of random numbers, populating it within a spreadsheet, and then taking those numbers and adding them all together, and then populating the last column that we have within the data range with the sum of all of the numbers added together. And we're also going to be showing you how you can use some common JavaScript functions, such as the parse integer. We're also going to be using the array method for each as we iterate through the data and make the calculations within the script. For this example, you're going to need a spreadsheet. So go ahead and create a Google spreadsheet. And then once it's created, select the sheet ID. So that's going to be within the web URL when you open up the sheet. And also name the sheet that you want to use as add. Going back into the app script, we're going to select and set the sheet ID there so that we can get the sheet. And first of all, we want to make some numbers here. So we're going to be selecting the sheet object and we're going to be populating. So first, uh, let's select the spreadsheet using the spreadsheet app service. And we're going to open by ID. And we've got the ID value of the sheet. And then let's select the sheet that we want to use. And the sheet is going to be within the sheet object. And this is going to be get sheet by name. And the name of the sheet that we are going to be selecting is going to be add. Within the log, let's just make sure that we do have the sheet and that it's ready to be used. Select the function and then run the function. We need to accept permissions the first time that we're accessing the sheet contents and the sheet permissions. We're accepting the permissions for the Google Sheet to see, edit, create, and delete your Google Spreadsheets. And that allows the script to run. There's the sheet object. And this is referencing all of the contents within the add sheet. So what we want to do is we want to create a loop and create a number of values. And we're going to just create these randomly using a JavaScript function. So we're going to add in the sheet contents into 10 rows. So we want to just append the rows with the new sheet contents. And we need to generate the row contents. So we'll create a separate function. And this is a helper function where we can get just a random number. And uh, we'll do the random number. We can set a variable in there as well if we want to. And what this will do is it's going to use the math floor method and then math random in order to generate a random number and let's do a 0 or a 0 to 99. And then now we want to populate the sheet contents. So let's set up an array that we can use for the sheet contents. And we want to add in three columns there. So that's going to create an array every time we iterate through. And then select the sheet object and do an append row and append the array contents to the new row. See how that works and give it a run. And there we've got the content populating there. So that gives us some dummy data to work with. We can also do another set of 10 rows and you can update these values as needed. So that's how we can add the numbers. And so that exercise, what we want to do is we want to select contents from the sheet and we want to add the numbers, uh, create the sum of the numbers in the fourth column. So we're going to select the value from A, B, and C, and then add that into column number D. So we've already got the sheet object. So we have the way that we're getting the sheet contents. So we can copy and paste that. And you can also simplify this as well to have it as one statement. So depending on what your preference is, if you're just accessing that one sheet, then you can just write it within one statement as well. So that puts the same sheet object and it's ready to use. So let's select the values that are within the spreadsheet. And what we want to do is we want to, we can either get them all separately or we can get them as an array. So how about we just do the cells and we're going to actually get all of the data as an array. So using the sheet, get data range. So that's going to select the entire range. 
and then we want to get the values that's within the range. And then using the logger log, and you can also use the console log, so that's uh, available now within app script. And run the adder function and see what we get for the adder function. So there's all the contents, and this is an array, and the ar data array is going to be all the data that we have. And we can use the for each method to loop through and get and return back each individual row of contents. And so we want to get a total value. And we can also make this even more dynamic. So the row is also an array. So we can do a for each for the row as well. And then this is going to return back each individual cell. And set it up as a total. So start the total at zero, and then the cell value where we, and let's uh, log that out for now so that we can see what we're getting as the value of the cell. And we can also take total and add to total, whatever we've got for the value of the cell. And then at the end, let's uh, log out the total. And this is just as uh, we're building it to log it out so we can see what where we are with each set of uh, which each set of statements. So the first one should add up to 50, that one's 53. Then we got 49 and 64, so it should add up to 166. And I just uh, drag it over and do a quick sum. So we see the sum is 166. So it is correct and it is grabbing all of the totals. So what we can do is we can select that data range and then we can set the values within the range. So we want to be able to set a value and the value that we're setting is going to be the total value. So for this particular row and as we're looping through the for each, we can also return back the index value. And this is going to be actually the uh, index value or the row value and then we can add a one to it in order to match the actual row value. Or we can call it um, row value. So here we'll set a value, row value. And this is going to be just index plus one. And we'll get rid of some of these uh, logs. We don't need them anymore once we see that we've got the output proper. So they're starting at row number one all the way down to row number 20 which has the last result. In, in order to write to that, we need to select a range that we want to select. And from the sheet, get range. And the get range function is going to require some parameters in order to select the range. And we can get those values from the values that we have. And if we want to set the first value is going to be the row. So that's going to be this row value that we can use to get the range. So that's going to be the starting row. So starting at one and then all the way to 20. Uh, the column that we want to start at, so that's going to be the first column. So we always want to add that into the first column. Next is going to be the number of rows. So we're only adding it to one row. And then the number of columns so this is going to be what we have for a row length. As we want to make it dynamic, so if we have more values, then we want to also be able to, uh, to actually access those and set those. So once we've got the range, we can then use the range object and set a value. And the value is going to be whatever we've got for a total. And there was an error here that what happened is that we actually I set it for all of them, the values, and we don't want that to overwrite. So let's update this. And what we want to do is we only want to write to column number four. So we're going to update that and starting at the row value, column number four. And we're only going to write the one column. So save that. And now let's run it again. And now this is giving us the totals that are within the cells. So let's make some updates to that and we can remove out the logs. And maybe we want to clear this out and we'll try again to make some numbers. 
we can run that a couple times in order to get another set of 20 rows of data and then run the adder to add the content together so that's adding in making the addition so we also have it more dynamic so what happens is if we don't have all of the rows that have the data we can make this dynamic so it doesn't necessarily have to be the fourth row it can also be the number of values that we have for that particular row and in case the row itself has less than four we can set it more dynamic where we can use the row length and because we're still using the get data range so it's selecting the length as a block so this will still add in those values into column d so let's go ahead and we're going to select to run it and once again it's going to add it in and it's going to add it and actually it added into column c because this way we're adding to the row length so here we'd have to add plus one to add to the end column after all of the data is being set run that again so there we've got the totals for all of the columns and now because it is dynamic and because the data range selects it as a block if we're to run this code again it's actually going to populate in column f and the reason is that because the data range is selected as a block and even though that this row actually only has four values the content from column e is still counted within the row array and that's why we get that effect where we're seeing it being added to the end there so keep that in mind that when you are using the get data range it selects it as a block so even if you only had like one value here and if it's a really small value it's still going to move to the next because once again it is selecting the data range within the block and the other error here is that it was actually setting the values it's actually picking up the cell values as a string so we did have that effect where it's picking up the content from f as a string so we want to make sure that that content is coming back as a number so we can do that with a javascript function and let's apply the parse integer and what this is going to do is it's going to convert into a number so it's going to ensure that we do have a number that's being added together. So these are all going to be numbers. And we're throwing another error there. We're seeing the num because we've got the null columns. So we've got null values. So we want to also make sure that if the value of the cell, so if there's actually something there, then only then we're going to be adding to the total. And that will avoid us having that error where we're throwing the wrong and we're taking the, the, the null value and it's trying to add it together. So there we can force it to be a number and output the results. And this is a good example of how you can use some of the common JavaScript functions in order to do more with your Google Apps Script code.